Hello guys, welcome back to another election prediction, and this time we have Kirsten Cinema, the moderate Democrat senator from the state of Arizona, versus former President Donald Trump. Now, this whole scenario is very hard for it to occur, because um, Cinema is just, <laughs> even in her own state of Arizona, she's not seen as like the most favorable to like the diehard Democrats. So it's going to be hard for her to win a primary election, considering that she's seen as pretty unlikable by the National Party, and that may sink her in a general election scenario. However, however, we do have to take into account that Democrats will still probably come out just as hard as they did for Biden to just defeat Trump again for a third time. They knew how bad it was under him the first term, so they were probably going to realize that. So in this scenario, I still think they would, a fair amount, of, there'll be some drop-off with the left-wing Democrats, of course, like more liberal ones, a lot more liberal ones, but overall, it's not going to be this like huge effect of, oh, no Democrat will show up. I think a decent amount, like 80 to 90% of them will, but that may be enough to sink her. We'll have to see. She may expand her appeal to moderates, independents, and even people who lean conservative. So that could also be an effect as well. So we're going to be getting into that. All right, so let's head into this election prediction. So Ohio, I actually see it just teetering. It's a 9% margin here. I think it'll just barely stay into likely. But Iowa, I don't really see her appealing the best here. She really doesn't have the best populist appeal, which will really hurt her in the Rust Belt. But let's get to the other states before we do the Rust Bowl. We'll save that for the end. We usually do anyway. The state of Texas, I could see her maybe getting to lean, but just with the drop-off and some more left-wing Democrats, I don't think she's going to get it to lean. I don't think she'll be that competitive in this state. Um, in Virginia, I think she'll carry it by about a likely margin, I would say. Same with Colorado and New Mexico as well. It's just that... It, will shift a bit more to the right just because some more liberal voters may not show up or be inclined to show up as much. The state of Arizona, however, I do think she'll still carry the state, but it'll be by a very, very narrow margin. But I still think most of the, her backers will show up here just out of pure hatred of Trump. It is her home state, too, so she does have that advantage. And honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, even though she would never win a primary, and she might even struggle in a Senate primary here, I think she would probably carry it by 1.5% margin against Trump, just because Arizona does not like Trump at all, and home state advantage she has here. That'll definitely come into play. And same could be said for Nevada, too. It's like right next to Arizona, so I don't think she'll... If she wins Arizona, she's certainly carrying Nevada as well. I think they'll be closely linked to each other in the, the coming elections. Let's head to the next few states. Florida, I think it'll stay at a likely column just because of her appeal to more concert, like lean, conservative, or independent voters in this area. I think she'll do decent here, but overall still lose the state. Same with North Carolina. I think she'll lose this state as well. And Georgia, too. I think she'll narrowly lose this to Donald Trump just because the Democratic Party is not going to be that energized about her. That's one thing. It has to be a really high turnout in Georgia for Democrats to win. So I don't think they're going to get that with Kirsten Cinema as nominee. However, she will win Nebraska second by a narrow margin and Minnesota. I think she'll hold most of it, but there'll be a drop-off in populist supporters, of course. Uh, let's head to New Hampshire and Maine. Maine, I think she would carry by a lean margin while losing Maine second by a likely. Uh, same with New Hampshire. I think she'll also narrowly carry it against Donald Trump. Let's head to the last few states. Wisconsin, I just think her lack of popular support will sink her in the state. Same with Pennsylvania, and same with Michigan, too. But it'll be a tilt margin. So far, yeah, this is how I kind of would see the map. I think she would just pretty much lose to Trump. It'll be a lot closer than you would expect. You'd do a bit better just because the hatred of Trump will be that real that even she has a chance, and she might do better than Joe Biden just because... As in the Senate, she acted as a centrist in there, so I think that'll broaden her appeal to a lot of independent voters. So, that's my prediction. Let me know what you think of this in the comments below. See you guys.